Hey guys, Retro Moments back here on YouTube, and today we are going to look at my Hall of Fame shelf. So this is basically all the retro games that I've found uh, the last three years that are my favorites. So we'll start from the top, and here we got Nintendo 64 and Super Famicom. So if we start with Nintendo 64, I have a sip of uh, both Zelda games. I'm really happy to have that. Also, most games here are gonna be PAL, and uh, this is Resident Evil 2. Love this game, one of the first uh, more horror games that I played, and I totally thought it was the most scary thing ever, and it was, it was so awesome to play that back in the day. However, I played it on uh, PlayStation 1, but uh, I I'm, I'm a big Nintendo fanboy, so I'd rather have it on N64. Uh, also, the same goes for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, played on PlayStation, but I love having it for N64. And here we got one of my favorite games, uh, it's uh, Mystical Ninja starring Goemon 2, Goemon's Great Adventure in US, and uh, also Super Smash Bros, such a classic. Then we go to Super Famicom, and here we got uh, a really late game, it was released like 95 or something, yeah it says even 96. Uh, it's Endless uh, Duel, Gundam Wing, a uh, great fighting game with big robots. Uh, the Japanese version of Contra, The Alien Wars, uh, Paradius, amazing cover on that one. Uh, Super Ghosts and Ghosts, it's fantastic too. And also I got uh, Hagane, uh, the final conflict, uh, amazing platform action game with a lot of weapons, highly recommended. Then we go down, and here we got my SNES games, and uh, it's primarily what I've been focusing on since Nostalgia Factor is, is the biggest. So we got Probotector, Alien Rebels. So we got Probotector here in uh, Europe. Uh, and you get Contra. Turtles in Time. Super R Type 3. No, not Super. Uh, pretty hard to come uh, by, actually. And uh, really underrated game, Uni Rally, super fun to play two players, highly, highly recommend this. And we also got Mega Man X down there, not the best label on it. Pokemon Rocky, amazing multiplayer. Super Metroid, and one of my favorite games for the SNES, Wild Guns. Amazing gallery shooter, and also Castlevania 4, pretty much a perfect platform. And here, Super Ghosts and Ghosts, Sib, Donkey Kong Country, Sib, Donkey Kong Country 2, Mystical in Ninja. But that one is great. It's also uh, for two players to play the adventure. Street Fighter 2, such a classic. We got UN Squadron, great sh shoot em up game. Mortal Kombat, classic, Star Wing, Super Mario All Stars. Zelda, Double Dragon, Super Double Dragon, that's really good too. It's a slow beat em up but it's really good and the Secret of Mana, just a classic. Then we go down to NES and uh, I don't got many sips here, I got a few but uh, the one that I like the most is the Super Mario 2, it's actually a pretty good condition. And we also have Battletoads, another multiplayer game that is super fun. Castlevania 1 and 2, Mega Man 2, 3 and 4. I have to say Mega Man 2 is my favorite there, but the artwork is horrific. Street Games, uh, in US it's called the River City Ransom. Uh, but I totally prefer street games in this label artwork. And then a few more awesome games here, Journey to Silas, 
Balloon Fight, Gun Smoke, Probotector, Probotector 2, and Double Dragon. Then we go down to Sega. And here we got two Dreamcast games. The only two that you actually really need, maybe except for Sonic Adventure. Uh, Shenmue's is fantastic. Just got released on PS4, so if you're into newer consoles, check that out. Or if you just want to replay it in HD, just, just get it. You know. Then we also got Golden Axe 2, great fighting game. Sonic 3, such a classic, and uh, Turtles Hyperstone Heist. That was uh, basically just like um, Turtles in Time, but but more uh, more levels, other levels. And also here we got Thunder Force 4. Uh, that pretty much started the whole uh, shoot 'em up thing for me. Wasn't really into it before, but I gotta say this this game is just fantastic. And then we go down to the last one. It's the PlayStation games, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1. So first off, I got the Steelbook Limited Edition Resident Evil 4. And uh, Genji, amazing samurai game. Check that out if you haven't. And Soul Calibur 3, just another fighting game that is super fun to play. Also got Shadow of the Colossus. And uh, the first Tekken game, the absolute first Tekken game. I've been a massive Tekken fan for years. So uh, it was great to have the first Tekken game. And Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Always nice to play the fighting games and Castlevania Symphony of the Night, one of the greatest games ever, especially on PlayStation. So that's it guys, that's my uh, favorite games that I found during the last three years. Uh, please comment or please make a video of your gaming shelf, that would be awesome to see uh, what you have as favorite games that you found. See ya!